What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more rock set. And as I mentioned last time, I'm gonna start doing doubles for all the rock set reactions. And indeed, even saying that, the gap between this and the last double went longer than I intended. I do apologize. Uh, either way, we're back with Crash Boom Bang 1994, and the next tune is What's She Like? It's a really interesting question because you're asking for secondhand testimony about someone, and presumably the person you're asking knows the other person better and or has spent more time with her. So you're seeking to get characteristics or a sense of someone's personality, but through anecdotal hearsay, essentially, even if that anecdotal information can be somewhat reliable if the other person has indeed spent a lot of time with the woman in question. But I wonder the nature of the question. I wonder who is being asked and how they know the woman in question. There's so many um, unspecified details, even if the essence of the question is clear. So curious to hear what will be a play. Let's listen. This is Roxette. The track is What She Like, and it's from the 1994 album Crash Boom Bang. <laughs>
such a good tune. Again, instant favorite in their catalog for me. Um, so, uh, Sonic's first. Um, I love the stripped down, really emotional intro, and it sort of went back to that configuration at the very end, but um, that was like really epic and emotional, and I like the sort of nighttime feel of it. Then when the percussion came in, after a little bit, I like the longer intro, uh, but it had a really like heavy, down-tempo sonic sort of atmosphere, like the snare was heavy, the kick was heavy, but it's still in this largely um, slimmed down, very emotional kind of sonic setting. Uh, and the track eventually filled out, like a proper like keyboard came in and, um, you know, guitar, I think there was acoustic guitar in there, but the, that brass, which we heard like right at the end, and I'm, I don't know like what, if that's, you know, like synth brass or if that's a saxophone played in a certain way, but that element, like it had a bit of an Eastern feel to it and it really like was a great element uh, that caught my attention right away. So again, I love when the percussion came in, the track sort of filled out a little bit and then by the end, Marie, as she often does, starts doing vocal flourishes and like really kind of epic deliveries. Although I have to say, like even in the more normal part of the song, uh, some of her vibrato, it was like really like rich and um, luscious, if you will. So, uh, just a really great performance from her. And again, at the end, it's like some of those moments where she really pushes the intensity. You can like feel the emotion. And lyrically, yeah, p picked up pretty quickly that it's an ex asking their former lover about a new partner. And with the, the recurrent theme of I've been hanging on too long, it's like she's aware that like, it's done. It's not coming back. Like there's no... You know, there's not any possibility that, hey, maybe we just had, you know, a fight or, you know, maybe we've been seeing each other too much and we needed a bit of a break and we're going to kind of swing back around. It sounds like she's aware it's done and she really should walk away. But it's like the way she's like processing it is like she's aware that he's now with somebody else and she's thinking of all the experiences she used to have with this person and wondering like, so what's it, you know, what's she like when, you know, you go to bed at night or when you wake up in the morning and, you know, is it, is it the same when you made love to her as it was to me? Like it, there's a sort of like, you know, maybe asking those questions is a way that you come to terms with it in yourself because, you know, no one wants to think about those kind of things, but to do so is to force yourself to admit that like, okay, like what am I doing here? Like, you know, this isn't, you know, he's not thinking about me, like it's, it's done. So it feels like so heartbreaking because there's again that like pain of like knowing that like oh well you know some of those moments we shared together they're probably having analogous moments and I wonder like you know what's she like is it exactly the way it was or you know is she different or you know what what makes her you know why did you turn to her or like why have you lost interest in me um, and then there's the heartbreak again of knowing that like because those moments are happening you know, there's no, it's done, there's no path back, so, uh, it just feels like such a heartbreaking tune in multiple respects, so, um, and it's, again, I commend their ability to tap into different, different types of emotional romantic songs, it's like a number of their songs get at that type of territory, certainly not all, but a number of them run in that direction, but they come at it from such different angles and with different relationship or, you know, ex-relationship dynamics, so uh, I really do enjoy their songwriting, and again, uh, I like when you hear them both, like, again, Marie may be the main driving vocal force, but I do like when they're both on a track, and, you know, I heard Para come in by the end, uh, so yeah, another cool rock set tune, I'm gonna come right back with the next one in the playlist, so I'll see you in a few moments, let me know what you think of this, and I'll see you then. <laughs> 